Here we have the dynamic mechanical analyzer instrument, Q800 system from T8 Australia. And with this instrument, we are able to measure the viscoelastic properties of the polymeric materials, such as the storage modulus, loss modulus, and tan delta. From these uh, values, we can calculate the crossling density and also measure the glass transition temperature of the particular polymeric material. First of all, to measure these properties, we need to use a rectangular sample. is 6 centimeters long by 1 centimeter width by about 4 millimeter thickness. And this sample is mounted inside of the dual cantilever of the DMA instrument. Now we need to mount the sample inside of the dual cantilever in the DMA instrument. We just put the sample there inside and tighten it up, the skirt of the dual cantilever in this fashion, and use this special screwdriver to tighten it up. You tighten up until you hear the clip, which indicates the right pressure on the sample inside of the dual cantilever. Once the sample is properly mounted in the dual cantilever of the DM8, we just close the furnace of the instrument and go ahead to the computer. The DMA applies force sinusoidally at several frequencies over a temperature range. As the sample deforms, displacement is automatically measured. The magnitude of the applied stress and the resultant strain are used to calculate the stiffness of the material under stress. Once all the parameters have been set up for the DMA analysis, the, uh, the test starts and at the end you will end up with the different values of the samples such as the storage modulus, loss modulus, tan delta and from the top of the tan delta peak, you obtain the glass transition temperature of the particular polymeric material. The storage modulus is the measure of the sample's elastic behaviour, while the loss modulus is the measure of the sample's viscosity behaviour. The ratio of the loss to the storage is the tan delta, which is also called damping.